Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. Today we are answering a couple of questions from Quora. And the question is, how do you figure out if you want to be a web designer or a web developer? First of all, let's start with web design. You know you want to become a web designer when you focus more on the presentation. Do you care more about what type of images are going to be used for the website? What type of text you're going to use? What's going to be the fonts? What's going to be the font sizes? Do you care about the placement of each element on the website? Do you care about the user experience? Like, hey, is it more easier for a user to buy something if you put it three pages down the way or if you just put one button on the front page that says buy this item do you care about those things right if you are one of those people then you're leaning more to web design and of course if you are a more of a creative person somebody who enjoys working with photoshop illustrator sketch you know even if you are somebody who enjoys making videos or you know making animations you're more likely going to have more fun becoming a web designer you're gonna enjoy it more now you are leaning more to web development becoming a web developer if you are a problem solver if you are somebody who enjoys the idea of solving a problem for somebody and coming into work and spending most of your days in front of a computer programming you know creating the logic of the website what happens when a user clicks a button where does that lead them to um, you know something like this hey we want to create a pop-up do you want to create the pop-up do you want to create something like oh what happens when a user goes to this page what do we show them if you're into the functionality side of websites then you are a web developer my friend now of course web development could get more complicated you have to learn different programming languages you have to learn different frameworks you have to learn different paradigms you gotta you know deal with object-oriented programming functional programming there's a lot of things that come with becoming a web developer and it's a lifelong journey right so it's not something that you can say I'm gonna learn this today and that's it you learned it now it's something that you always gonna have to continue learning with your career if you're one of those people that enjoy that then you are a web developer you're leaning more to web development okay now I hope that answers your question I try to keep it as simple as possible I didn't want to give you a very long explanation because this is something that in reality is up to you you have to feel it within yourself like for me I feel somebody who should be a, a web designer should be somebody who is more creative somebody who likes to uh, solve issues and solve problems by uh, setting up a clean design uh, making it easier for the user to find what they need from a website that should be a web designer a web developer should be somebody who loves to solve the problems and thinks about the functionalities of the website. If you click this, what happens? If you click that, what happens? If you submit this, what happens? If you're into that, then you are a web developer. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. You already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. Hashtag coding phase, hashtag the coding way. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and let me know below what type of person are you. Are you a web designer? Are you a web developer? Which one are you leaning more towards to? Also too, if you are a little bit of both. Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys later. Peace.